Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching my, my videos. And if you like the videos that I'm sharing with you, please give a thumbs up. I am working on an envelope. Now, I, you know, videoing tonight has been a little challenging. I started this video over in the weekly um, journaling challenge, video number four on love. And I was going to finish it in two separate videos. However, my last video, um, I did all of this and it did not record properly. So I'm having to start over. So let me just tell you what I did. So in the first video, I was ripping up some book pages using some clear, clear gesso to adhere them to the envelope. This is simply a junk mail envelope. And then I had a little bit of the tea dye, wherever it's at, and I took this um, twisted citron and I stamped it on my mat, added a little, little water, diluted it down, and then brushed it in here to give a little bit of that green and on the page. And then I have um, some words, well, there it's like script, like script writing. And um, so I used this stamp and then I pulled out a vintage collage um, set of stamps, this dragonfly. And I stamped that on here. Now, and I, after I did all of that, I was going back over it with the gesso. I want to apply a napkin. Napkins come in multiple layers and they're not always the easiest to get apart. So please don't think they are because they really are not. Um, there's different ways. I just simply played with the edge of it and pulled it down. I did it off camera um, just so to save time on my video. I save this um, piece because it can be used for something else. Now, this is a two-ply napkin. So it has two of these white pieces that need to be pulled off. And there they come. So now I have my napkin and it's very, very thin. So it can kind of see through it a little bit. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting this napkin down over this envelope. But first, before I can actually put the napkin down, I am going to take and put some more gesso on this envelope, seeing as how i um, somehow I went off screen when I was doing it before. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this gesso and um, put it on the snap, on the, I'm sorry, on this page. And I'm going to adhere it. There are different ways to apply a napkin. There's, so, you know, there's a lot of different videos out there. You just have to find what works for you. I have come to like using gesso and I use it and it in my projects quite frequently. And I like the way that it turns out. So this is what I usually use. And I'm gonna make sure that I get it all over, especially good on the edges. And before I go to adhere my napkin, I'm gonna actually take this up and wipe this off so that if there's any on the table, it won't affect me applying my um, napkin when I go to do that. So I have this on here the way that I want. There we go. I don't usually do mine too thick. I don't like it thick um, just because. So I'm gonna lift this up. Uh, Let's see if I can get this wiped off. There we go. All right, so we got this all cleaned up. I'm gonna place that back down. I'm gonna have a little wipe to my hands because they're a little bit sticky. And now I'm gonna take my napkin and I am going to very, very carefully um, lay it down over my napkin. Now I'm okay with it overlapping a little bit. I can always go and trim that off. But once it's down, it's down. You can't, you know, lift it up and reapply it. 
it's on, it's on, it's off, it's off. <laughs> so, um, so I'm just doing that very, very lightly because I don't want to, um, pressing it in there where it needs to go, but I don't want to press too hard. I don't want to rub too hard because I don't want to tear it. And that is why I use, um, I don't put gobs of it on and I try to make sure that I thin it out. Okay. So I'm going to let this air dry. And then once it air dries, I will come back and I will do the same thing same process on the other side. So what's the process on the other side? Well, let me show you what it was like when I first started. So when I first started, I had something that looked like this. I had a book page and I just simply tore my book page into little pieces, however big I wanted them to be. You know, it didn't have to be too, too big, but I do want to kind of over there and I just simply applied my book pages randomly just wherever pieces like that I didn't really use I kind of tore off the edges because I didn't want a lot of that white space and um so I just continue doing this around wherever I want it. You know, it doesn't have to go the same direction. Just however you wanted it on there. But I think this goes on very, very well. And I have to tell you that I, this is not my original idea. However, um, I, I saw someone else doing it. I like the technique. And I think that it's going to be very, very pretty once I'm done for my um, envelope to be able to put all of my um, scripture cards in. And you can use it to put whatever you want in it. These make great envelopes to go inside of junk journals. You can make them and put them inside of your um, traveler's notebooks, your planners. This is. Um, a very versatile thing that you can use in a lot of different ways. So there we have it. And I would just go through and I probably want one more piece up here. Just a little piece. Not nothing too, too big. That's a little bit bigger than what I want. Okay, I like that. Kind of a little bit of a shape. <laughs> okay, so grab your junk mail envelope, grab some gesso or glue or Mod Podge or whatever it is you like to use and go ahead and get started on your envelope. And um, I would love to see what you do with this. And I'll be back in another video to show you the remainder of this process of what I'm going to be doing because I'm going to do I'm going to stamp a scripture on there so that what I'm doing so I'm just simply this time you know I'm going to go over it my um just my gesso and I'm going to be careful not to um get it on this part because the flap I don't want it on the flap I don't want it underneath and sealing it together, that would not be good. Then I would have to figure out a way of getting it open, but I'm sure as crafty as we are, we can come up with a way to get it open. All right, so now that I have this and I on there the way that I want, I will simply take my um heat tool and I'll have to dry this. I'll dry this side but I won't dry the other side and then I'll show you what I do next. Since we want since the other video kind of cut in pieces 
And I do apologize for the noise. Okay, so now that I have it dry, what I'd like to do this time is to take some more of this um, twisted citron and I'm just gonna put it on my mat, spray a little water on it. Okay. And then I'm just going to paint it in between, not really painting on the book pages, but kind of going in between, between the book pages. There we go. Kind of like water. All right. Let's... There we go. A little bit more water. So I hope you're getting the idea of this. And you can layer, you know, just keep layering on. You could even add um, you know, scrapbooking paper. You could do whatever you want with this. But I kind of like these old book pages from junk journaling that I'm using for this. Okay, so now once that is on, I'm simply gonna dry it again. I apologize for the noise. I'm liking how it's drying. It's drying very pretty. It may be very light that you can't see it, but it's a little, it is light, but not that light. On camera, it looks like it's very, very pale. Pale, because I can still see it. Right. Now on this side, instead of using the tea dyed, which I used on the other side, I'm going to use some of this old page, old paper called old paper and I'm going to take the old paper and I'm going to just age the book pages a little bit with that. Just a little bit in there. And it kind of just blends in with this green that I'm already using. And I would just hear you could do some doodling, you know, have fun with it by all means. Okay, <clears throat> so now I have it to this point. And I think on this one, I want to add in this script. It's just a different script that I'm gonna add in. And I'm gonna kinda add it at a slant. Might be upside down, I don't know. It could be. But you can't really tell, because it just looks like squiggly lines. There we go. That looks good. Just continue to add this in, in between, just around the book pages. All right, and then I'll add just a little bit down here. Okay, I really like that. I really, really like that. I like how that came out. So from here, 
the other side's probably not quite dry, but you can see how you can see the book pages behind this napkin with these beautiful bold flowers. So I'm going to allow this to continue to dry. And then as it dry, after it's dried, I'm going to do the same thing with applying the napkin on this side. And then um, I will do some pop-ups with some birds that I will do as cut out here. And then I also will do a scripture that I will put, I will pop up on a piece of paper as well so that those things can kind of stand out on top of my envelope. And then um, I will be back with show you that as well. So thanks so much for watching my videos. If you like my videos, you like what you're seeing, please give a thumbs up and um, support by, by, um, by, by liking my videos and subscribing to my channel. Just hit that subscribe button down there and um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. God bless you.